Let's talk about boyfriend or girlfriend visas. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. This video is for you if you're a U.S. citizen and you want to bring your boyfriend or girlfriend to the United States. Is there a BF visa? Is there a GF visa? Unfortunately, there is not. And we're going to talk about it in today's video. Now, a lot of people contact our office every day or every week wondering, how do I get my boyfriend or girlfriend to come to the United States to visit? Or I am the boyfriend or girlfriend and I want to come visit the United States. What can we do? Is there a special visa that would allow the friend who is in a romantic relationship of a U.S. citizen to come to the United States on a temporary basis and then to go back home? Now, here's the problem. There is no such thing as a boyfriend visa. There is no such thing as a girlfriend visa. Really, the only options people have would be to apply for a visit visa, which we're going to talk about, or to do a fiancé or marriage-based case. That's it. Nothing else. No other rules. No special accommodations for the loved ones, the unmarried loved ones, the amours of a U.S. citizen. What do I mean? Well, if the non-citizen wants to come to the United States, they can either come through the visa waiver program if they're lucky enough to come from one of the countries that participates in the visa waiver program. But for most people, they don't. And they're going to have to ask for a visa. And when they ask for a visa, that would be a B1, B2 visit visa. When applying for the visit visa, they're going to have to show that they have significant ties back in their home country, that they have every intention and reason to go back. And the best way to show that is by being married to someone back in that home country. And of course, that won't work in a boyfriend or girlfriend situation. So the sad fact is that most visit visas are denied and they're mostly denied for people of a young marrying age. So if people uh, are between, say, the ages of 18 and 40 and the State Department believes that that person's coming to the United States to see someone that they love, they're probably guessing that the person's going to want to file for a green card. Now, this might not be true at all. This person might have every reason to want to go back home and have every intention of following the law. But nonetheless, the State Department won't give them that visit visa because they think everybody wants to come to the United States and everybody wants to get married and everybody wants to get a green card based on marriage, many of which are fake. That's their mindset. So they're not built for your situation. They don't understand what you're going through. So they're going to push back and probably deny most visit visas. That leaves you with this other option at the way other end of the uh, extreme, which is to either get engaged and file an I-129F fiancé application or um, a marriage-based case, an I-130 application, where the couple actually has to go ahead and get married. Now, that's really tough because if the relationship has just started, maybe they don't want to be a fiancé. Maybe they don't want to be a spouse. Maybe they just want to come visit. And that's where people get in trouble because they try to be creative. They try to maybe lie their way into the United States or they try to um, set up some kind of a relationship with someone else and, and act like they're coming for some other reason when really they're just coming to see their boyfriend or their girlfriend. So this is really problematic. And it's really unfortunate that there's not a middle ground between a B1, B2, which may get denied, and a marriage-based or fiancé-based case. And that's the problem. That's what we're seeing with people really struggling with is when they want to come to the United States just on that middle ground that I just want to come see my boyfriend. I just want to come see my girlfriend. The sad thing is you're not going to be able to get a visa like that most likely. And even if you do, you might get in trouble because they might say that you lied about your visit visa and the reasons for it. So lots of potential pitfalls here, lots of potential mistakes that can be made. Um, and more importantly, lots of headaches in being separated because usually this just doesn't work. And the foreign national is stuck outside the United States and the U.S. citizen oftentimes has to be the one to always go back and travel. And that's OK. You get to see each other but it doesn't really move the ball forward on getting the foreign national to the United States. So it's really unfortunate that there's no uh, safe place between a visit visa and a fiance or marriage based case. It'd be really nice if there was a visa where people could come hang out, see their beloved and go back home. And when I tell U.S. citizens this, they're shocked. And I made this video for you because when you call next time, I'm going to send you this video. Hope this makes sense. Hope you're not going through headaches with the State Department or USCIS. If you're if you're thinking about getting married, thinking about doing a fiance case and want the help of our law firm, we'd be happy to help you. We don't help with visit visas. There's no value that an immigration lawyer can bring to a visit visa. We don't really get involved in that. But if you want to move forward with a fiance case or a marriage based case, we'd love to represent you. We'd love to work with you. Feel free to give us a call. 314-961-8200. Email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group. It's called Immigrant Home. 
we have a, a group with about nine, 9,500 members, and there are people in there talking about the immigration process, talking about the frustrations of not being able to be with the people that they love. And then, of course, we have our Immigration Answer Show, which I do three or four times a week on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to that YouTube channel, and you'll get alerted whenever we go live. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.